Mama, you will never believe it. This week I was able to leave the house for two hours without a crisis ensuing at home. I'll tell you all about it in your week 24 update. Faith is now able to go three or four hours without needing the boob, which has been huge. Um, I've actually been able just to, like I said, leave the house and go on errands and not be in panic mode. Although I still have some low level anxiety because I'm just so used to being so tethered to the house and to Faith that it feels weird. But I'm grateful because I'm just getting these little glimpses of independence of kind of what life will be like when she's a toddler and um, it's just been nice it's been kind of this nice balm you know through this rough road in those early months of postpartum um, we also are kind of getting into this routine with her naps that now i'm able to go to church regularly which is huge because i think i've gone to church like twice since she's been born so i've really missed it and michael goes every week with the older kids and i always feel like bad because i'm home with the baby by myself you know and they're all off doing some really positive thing um, but now we can all go as a family. And it's just so sweet because Griffin and Paloma are so proud of their baby girl and um, they show her off to all of their friends at church. And, um, and she's really good throughout the whole service, although she does get a little loud sometimes, so I have to actually leave um, the room for a little bit because she competes with the pastor. Um, she's a very vocal child, but for the most part, she's super happy and she just kind of rolls with it. And of all of my children, I have to say, this girl actually likes the car, which is just such a weird phenomenon because my other two, no. Paloma in particular, she literally would go code red. She'd turn purple. I, at times, would have to pull over and like unbuckle, hop in the back seat and blow on her face because she would stop breathing. That's how upset she would get. So let me just say, the only time we went in the car is when we absolutely had to until she was literally like a year old. So Faith, on the other hand, she loves the car. In fact, she would rather be in the car than on her activity mat because she just loves the action. She loves seeing the trees and the cars and just being part of life. So it's been awesome because in the end of the day, when I'm going to pick up the kids at school, she just hops in with me and we go and it's like a good 45 minute you know outing and she just rolls with it so i'm so grateful because it just makes all of our lives really easy if she does start to get fussy michael discovered that she really loves jack johnson so we put on some jack johnson she grooves out i unroll the window if she starts to get fussy at all with the breeze and the jack johnson flowing and she is good so yay 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 the other thing that's really fun, I find this is just a time when babies are waking up, they're discovering new things every day. And the newest thing that she's discovered is her feet. And this girl is always holding them, playing with them, chomping on them. She's in the happy baby pose. I mean, the positions that this girl can contort her body into are incredible. Um, so that's just fun to see her understanding how her body works. She's scooting, we call it the wiggle worm, um, when she gets like on our big, you know, king mattress or when she's in her crib and stuff. So, you know, these are all just precursors of crawling. So it's cool to see her just growing and developing so well. So there you have it, your week 24 update. I hope you and baby are doing fantastic and we'll see you next week. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, AKA Mama Natural. And this is my third baby, Faith. Together, we'll be taking you through baby's first year. So be sure to sign up for your free updates at mamanatural.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much, and we'll catch you next week.